to Trident 31 from Vanquist. So sh <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. The Trident 31 from Vanquest. Now this is an upgraded Big Brother version to the original Trident. Now it's 11, 10 or 11 liters bigger bag. And I got it sitting right here. And what I want to do without going over it, I'm going to go over a few technical. There's the dog. He's getting his little bit in. He gets a little excited. Anyway, so it's a much bigger bag. They've got a some new design features that I'm really excited about and I want to go over my first impressions and kind of some of the more detailed aspects but I don't want to go over it in a ton of detail and bore you to death I'm gonna do a follow-up video to this one which I'm going to show you kind of my idea what to put in it and how much this bag really holds uh, so this is not that video this is gonna go over some features and benefits and details of the bag so you guys that like that kind of stuff will know it we'll do that real quick and then we're going to do another video that'll be coming up here in a, in a week or two where i'm going to do a, a full bag dump uh get home edc type bag uh ideas that i've got for the bag and I, i'll throw a few little nuggets in here as we go but uh first of all i'm going to bring the bag here in to the view and show it to you and that is here's a side view back view bottom view top view that's it guys see you later just kidding uh anyway you'll notice this little patch it's on here and this little guy is one of the new glow in the dark patches and i put this in the sun with me during the day when i've got it because i leave this on my mobius bag that a lot of y'all have seen and when i bring it at night now this thing puts off some serious light you'd never lose a bag with this on there and of course you can tear it off if you don't want somebody to see you if you're gonna go all ninja but a uh, awesome patch uh, from Vanquest and it's so go over some of the quick features on this bag of course it is a lot bigger you'll see and I'm gonna use my notes because I'm never gonna remember all the technical uh, jargon on this but as I'm talking about it I'm gonna show you this uh, so don't watch me because I'm looking at my notes watch the bag um, <clears throat> so one of it is a pull forward waist belt now the waist belt goes here and it takes some doing to get it off and go through here. so it goes really really well uh this waist belt is is pretty cool almost hit the bag down for a second now i took it off because i was monkeying around with a few ideas on it but you can leave this on for better hip support if you're going to load this down with a lot of heavy gear and it's going to help support so it is a good belt it's padded it has some molly webbing on it get off the neat thing is uh this buckle is uh if you'll remember the review I did on the IBEX 30, it has the buckle with the three-point system. They got rid of that, which I, I, I kind of glad, especially on a, a small bag like this, to get rid of it really quick. You just push, and it's released. You don't have the middle piece. So I do like that they uh, did away with that extra extra piece. It's kind of difficult with gloves on, for sure. And then the other feature is more like a backpacking bag. It's pull forward. So once you have this on, you would grab the straps and pull it so it makes it easy to cinch it up. And it also, they've added the little Velcro keepers to keep the extra stuff from dangling. So you guys that uh, get OCD about that want to cut them off, you don't have to cut them off. You can just strap them on there. But uh, Also, really, really cool thing here is the uh, it's um, Hopalon. I'm going to spell this for you. H-Y-P-A-L-O-N. Uh, I'll try to put it down there too. This is what this rubbery on the molly webbing it's not the the, the cordura it's this hopalon material that's on the back and it also has these in pull tabs and what this is really for is so when you're zipping the bag you have something to hold on to to help it zip better which is a great new feature of course with the ykk zippers so that stuff on there is they'll use that on snowshoes now to make them lightweight uh, it's fade resistant now it's an awesome material google hopalon even the navy seals are using it on their on their uh, uh, boats and stuff so you know if those guys are using it it's it's a quality material so it's neat they've incorporated it vanquist has on the bag so that is an awesome uh feature as well also another feature on this side and this is really cool i really like this is they've put this water bottle pocket on the side and it will hold you've got the smaller clean canteen well you can take that and just slide it right in there but hey what about you guys that's got the big 
water bottle like I have the other one as well where you just grab this which these new pull handles these are the uh, Spartan that's why it was a cool name Spartan pull handles it kind of looks like a Spartan helmet but you open that up and it pulls this away so now you can slide the larger clean canteen bottle in here another idea because this bag originally was designed to do camera gear you could take a tripod and put in here and up top you have this loop which you can secure the tripod or if you have a long axe or you probably if you had a small rifle you could actually put the butt of the rifle and then hold it on here as well so a lot of ideas you can do with this the cool feature of course that it, that it opens up and makes it bigger which i love i love that feature is this little gusset here as you see when you open it up that gussets out that really gives you the extra room for that bottle to fit in there or other items that are big and, and round and not a square shape so i love this feature uh whoever came up with this awesome idea uh great idea makes makes this whole feature even better uh, i really like that and then also as you can see here this thing's loaded with like 42 or 44 pockets uh 44 says it right there pockets on this thing so if you guys love to be organized you can load it up i mean you can you can just really organize this bag right here on the side this zipper is kind of an admin pocket and as you'll notice when i open it it's that bright orange so it makes it really easy to see everything inside love that feature this is more of an admin pocket you got some pockets here notepads different things but it's tall and what i have been able to notice is my maps instead of fitting them like some people will put them back here in the hydration bladder pocket you can put a couple two or three tall maps in there up in there and then it's also got this little keeper for other things whatever you want to use that for uh, on this pocket all on this side of the bag which is really awesome i'm gonna flip it around to this to the front side and show you this here on the front you'll notice the laser cut molly webbing instead of the straps which i like it which gives you a large a large full panel uh back here so yeah you can put a a lot of morale patches or what have you on here but you can also attach uh, uh some of the other patches by vanquist some of the fat packs or different ones you could put another layer of uh storage on the back of this and you take a 31 liter bag and turn it into you know a 35 or a 40 liter if you got a if you attach something here or on one of the other sides you also have that same velcro and molly up here you have the shock cord um and then this kind of goes in behind there which makes it easy to uh attach your straps as well but you could also slide a large knife or something or whatever across there or a smaller tripod uh, if you're using that for that and then you have the panel so you can do a lot of different things you can do with this area the other thing i thought was cool is you know i've not heard anybody talk about this but uh right here below the vanquest logo which is stitched in now which is looks really nice uh, nice job i like it better than the little patch that they had on there it's stitched into the bag this little thing well, what this i thought it may be designed for this i'm sure it probably was i've not heard anybody mention it but it's a great carry handle so now i can grab my bag if it's laying on the ground i can just grab it like this and get a carry handle for it the other thing i thought of and let me grab another little prop here idea I had is a tool so if you have an axe or hawk and this is a, a smaller one but if you had a longer axe even too doing a bushcraft bag or something now you have a place for your axe and the other idea i had is all you gotta do is attach something here to hold this and then you have this more secure so you have a way to carry an extra tool on the outside of this bag and then if there's a bag over this it would even hold it down even better so another idea that you could use this grab handle for is the whole tools and that's just my idea there of course you got a your first layer of pockets it's a little snap and these snaps are solid and none of this stuff's going to fade because it's that hypalon material a great snap here opens up and then you have this long zipper you have two of them so you can make it you can put it on either direction so you the zipper down and you have one massive pocket and you have again the orange inside there so you can see in this pocket as you can see goes the full length of this bag so and it comes out you can see it's got some thickness there so you got some great pocket there and then of course this pocket this clamshells open again and you have a pocket here velcroed 
and it's got this see-through uh, see mesh. You can kind of see what's in the bottom. And then you have a pocket. You got the loops, more pockets down in here. So you can really organize this bag in another little keeper as well. All in here. And of course the YKK zippers. And this has the locking mechanisms on them. So if you had something in here you didn't want anybody to get to easily, you have a, a way to lock it. Of course the Spartan zippers here. You'll notice here these little tabs. I don't know if you can see those. Little loops. That's just the way you can attach things. You can hook carabiners. You can run paracord. Hook other things to that if you like. Uh, and do some things with that. And then you got this top pocket. Uh, just to show you this one real quick. I'm pulling the wrong zipper. It opens up. You got another pocket here with the see-through mesh. You can see what's in there. And it's hard to explain. It's not really a mesh. It's um, it's better than that. It's really good. So you got another pocket back here. Velcroed shut. And then you got these elastic loops. Now these are offset. So you can run something here and something here. And stagger your stuff and get more more things. And this pocket is, is really deep. And you can see the, the thickness of that. And closes very easy with the, with the zippers. Now on to this side. If you'll notice there's more of the webbing here so you can put another pouch here as well. This bag was designed to more open and access from the side rather than the top. And I'm going to show you that in one second. First of all I want to flip around to the, this part. Great shoulder straps. I love the design and the shape. I've done some backpacking in the past. And the way these are made made me think of that. They really fit good. They're really comfortable, good padding. And then these little straps at the top, when you're carrying the load, you can relax this to hang back off your shoulders to give you a little relief if you're going any kind of distance with it. Or you can cinch it up tight and pull that load up high and forward so it's more comfortable to carry. So this is a great added feature on a pack this size. Uh, great feature. Then it also has the uh, chest strap. And I will make a note here um, the chest strap comes really low on me and I did take off one side and was going to try to adjust it up and it's not the easiest thing to, to mess with there may be a, a secret to it that I don't know but I really wish it was a um, easily easily or adjustable to get it up a little higher it does have um, a whistle you might as well have it than not uh, and then ways you can hook things here and here so if you're running hydration or anything out of here you can hook it down either side all, of course, this is all 1000 Cordura. You've got a uh, mesh padding back here. It's an awesome design here, the way this uh, fits. I think it's very comfortable. Um, it's got channels here to help alleviate the heat so you get some good uh, breathing area. And the arch is designed, and then this extra pad where the belt goes creates a lower back lumbar support I've noticed on my back that makes it ride good it makes it ride high and it feels great on your back so this is a, a really good design really comfortable uh, really like that it's also got a couple holes at the bottom to breathe out you got a hydration port here on that and you also have hydration port on both sides of the bag and on top which I haven't mentioned is this grab handle none of those little skinny narrow that if you got on heavy winter gloves you can't grab it there is no doubt you can grab this handle or hang it hanging on a tree limb or whatever you're doing it's got a great stitching good it's got a neoprene padding underneath it so it's really soft love love this handle so that's another great feature there and as I come around you'll see this panel here this opens up to the inside there is a hook and loop panel in there for Attaching any of the hook and loop things that VanQuest has, you know, for your CCW extra magazines, or if you have something from another another brand that's got hook and loop on it, you can put it in there, or your hydration, or whatever you want. It just and it's got a, you can feel the hard surface to give you the support. It's back there too, and it's designed with the locking mechanism on it as well, so you can lock what's up in there if you were carrying this as an EDC bag to to work or somewhere like it. You didn't want people just to be able to look in it very easily. Of course, you got more loops here. I mean, there's there's connection points all over this bag, but I want to get on the inside so I don't. You're carrying this bag like this, as you can see here on the back, and I want to get into it real quick. So this bag is designed to where you would spring it around this way, and then you open it up here and flip it, flip it open. And now you can see the dividers. 
this has an extra divider because it's a bigger bag than the original one so camera bag school bag or work bag whatever you need it's got everything in it you need here there's also pockets I'm gonna try to show this to you here there's pockets here on the flap and it's kind of a see-through material so you can see opens up here and they slide down uh, in here and then you have these pockets here which if you have something shorter in there you can actually close it off or if you open it you don't really see it and then if you closed all your pockets off like this and you had stuff in there you have space between the zipper the pocket and these where you could put something else bigger in here that you need, might need to access quicker uh, maybe your shelter system or something or something like this or maybe it's something related to work that you want to need on the top but your other gear is kind of concealed and hidden there or you have it open and you have modules or other pouches that you want to slide your stuff in there and i'm going to give you some ideas on that on the on another video so this of course opens up i'm going to flip it around this way you undo this snap and it opens up all the way around but before i do that i want to show you an idea that i had because this bag is designed to open this way so that's how everybody normally does it of course this locks too but let's say you're looking at this bag like a normal backpack and you're sitting it this way what i did is there's a strap here that separates hold, kind of a compression a little bit not really a compression but it holds it together so it's a zipper stop into this curve so that curve makes it where it doesn't open as easy that way and you have to intentionally get into the bag so let's say you have gear in this way and modules or what have you, camera gear what have you on that but you want to set it open this way so my idea was let's look at it from the top so you open it like a regular backpack and now you have those panels in there so this creates a, a false bottom floor to where you could put stuff in here there's also some velcro hook and loop to where you can maybe you could even put ccw extra magazines or anything you wanted here as well but you could put stuff that's important up here you could put a first aid kit up here you could put a rain jacket up here uh you could put your you know what have you stuff you need to get to quick maybe that you want it in the top if it's sitting like this and then if you want to get into the side part you pull down this zipper and get into the side part compartments there so that's kind of my little idea on that i thought it was kind of a, a different way to look at this bag as a as a two way to open it so you can stuff it now i'm going to open up the whole thing real quick and then we're going to wrap this up this thing opens and now this stops over here so it kind of opens up like this now you're going to notice more compartments in this bag as i do this here and this seam, this seam un, un velcros. And now you have three more compartments that slide in behind this compartment. So you have more storage pockets there, as well as back here. This will hold a 17 inch laptop computer and it's padded and protected. And then every one of these dividers that I just showed you, well, if you don't want them in there, take them all out and use this as a big open pack and stuff it the way you want to so you can do a lot of versatility with this pack and these little guys right here just will fit right back in really easy you can just put them at the height and the measurements you want to adjust to your gear and set it up the way you want it to and then of course you just these zipper pulls are different too as you'll see that i think these are the same ones that i have on my ibex too i really like it they're not the tightness spartan ones they're a different one that's on the main part of the bag so i like that so if you're feeling around in the maybe it's a little bit dark and you're trying to grab the right opening or right pocket you know if you're grabbing these then you're grabbing your main compartment if you're grabbing the other ones you're into the other compartment there oh and i did almost forget this little guy is a new uh, item from VanQuest as well. It's a hydration pocket. It's got that hypoline material, shock cord, and built-in straps so you don't have to buy them separately. They're built in. That's awesome. I like that. Love this material. Until then, remember you got to go prepared because you just never know. Whoa.